Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a uh, biscuit joiner. Um, you can use this tool for pretty much anything that you build. Uh, you can use it for cabinets, you can use it for tabletops. Pretty much anything that you want to build, you can use this for. Um, I just want to show you some of the features on it, and then we'll get to showing you how to actually use it. Um, first, the biscuits, this is what a biscuit is. They're too little, they look, they call them biscuits, I guess you can say they look like a biscuit, but they come in three different sizes. This is a 10, this is a 20, and they're a little bit, you can see the size difference. And then uh, there's also zeros. Zeros are a lot smaller. <coughs> All right. On uh, on the tool itself, if you'll come a little closer, I'll show you. <coughs> on this tool, here's where you see the biscuit at. That that's where that's the blade. It's like a sideways skill saw is what it is. Um, this right here is your fence, and if you can see it, there's degrees on this, and it goes from zero to 135 degrees. And these little red arrows shows you which degree you're on. And then on this side right here shows you how tall you are. You can move it up and down forever, however tall you're, whatever size wood you're using, you can uh, adjust it accordingly. On the back here, this is where you set for what biscuits you're going to use. If you can see it, there's a zero there. There's a 20 and then there's a 10. Of course, then there's your trigger. And then this is for your bag that catches your sawdust. Um, if you can see it, there's a line right here on the bottom. And you can take these biscuits and it shows you that's a 20 right there. The bottom arrow is a 20 and then there's a 10 below it and then a 0 below it. It shows you just the different sizes on it. <coughs> and if you look on the top, top shows you the same thing. Same thing that's on the bottom of this on the bottom of this biscuit joiner. Um, and this line right here is your center line and then there's also a center line right here underneath on the metal so that's that's the features of the biscuit joiner and um, we'll show you how to use it here in just a second all right guys we're going to show you how to use this uh, biscuit joiner um, if you'll come a little closer i'll show you <coughs> we're using one by one by four so technically one by three and a half um, but if you'll notice i went ahead and drew lines on this wood to where I want my biscuits at. So if you just kind of imagine this is how it's going to be. There's going to be a biscuit on each where each line is there's going to be a biscuit there. And if the purpose for this these biscuits and this biscuit joiner <coughs> is what you're wanting with this is you're wanting a flush a flush top or whatever or if you're doing a corner you want a flush corner um, so you don't have any gaps between your wood. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you I've got go I went ahead and got mine set it's on 90 degrees if you can see it um, right here on the side it's on 90 degrees and then um, it's right at like half an inch or so so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down I've got it set on, a, on my 20 for my number 20 so my biscuits so what I'm gonna do is where I drew these lines I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this wood around and I'm gonna line my center line up if you want to come a little closer so you can see it you can see the center line right there <clears throat> I'm just going to kind of line it up as best I can on that on that line. So what you want to do on this is this is your fence. You always want to hold on to this. Now when you go to do your run your biscuit, you don't want to put it in there, push and then start it because what that's going to do is going to throw your wood out and more than likely you're going to get hurt yourself or um, break something on your equipment. So what you want to do is you want to start it up all the way and get it running hot and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to push it in. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And that's all there is to it. <coughs> As you see, the biscuit just goes right in there, just like that. So we'll do one more on this other piece, and then I'll show you how you attach it. All right, so if you can see it, here's your two biscuit cuts. And this, what you'll do on these biscuits is you'll glue them in there for a sturdier. You see how they just slide right in there. And that surface alone right there is going to be smooth. There's not going to be any gaps within that surface. All right, guys, so that's how you use a biscuit joiner. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, not very hard to use, uh, pretty user-friendly. So 
if you have a project coming up or something that you want to build something for somebody, I do it all the time for a lot of people, and uh, this is my go-to tool to make everything look just right. All right, thanks you guys for watching.